Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Cash Lawless and today I'm gonna to be showing you what I call the beanie cut. Now this is a really cool technique that eliminates a lot of the amazing things that professional hairstylists do with hair cutting, which is all of the sectioning, uh, contouring to the head shape, the artistry of the haircut. But for the utility of cutting hair, I think this is a perfect technique for you to be able to pick up a pair of clippers, grab a beanie, and cut your kid's hair or cut your man's hair uh, whoever's, whoever in the household's got some short hair and wants a fade or wants it shorter on the sides, this is a great technique to apply with minimal tools and if you got no skills. So I always recommend seeing a professional hairstylist, but during this season and not being able to see one, uh, this might help you cut your kid's hair in the meantime. So stay tuned. It's going to be a really interesting one. And I think this technique might help you get that haircut without screwing it up. Let's get started. Today our tools are going to be clippers, a set of guards, comb and thinning shears, and of course a beanie. All right, dude, you ready for this? Yeah. Never done this before, so hope it works. <laughs> We're going to start by taking our comb and creating a center part straight down the center of the head. Then we're gonna take our beanie, place it all the way over the head and roll up the edges one inch at a time until you reach the very top of the head. Next, we're gonna push the beanie to one side, creating a diagonal angle in the back and so that it's touching the ear on the opposite side of the head. Now we'll make sure we got our clippers out and our guards lined up. The first thing you're gonna do is start with the biggest guard you have. All right, the time has come, let's get cutting. So we're gonna take our clippers with the largest guard on it and follow the guide that the beanie's creating for us. So we'll start our clippers in really slow in the beginning and just see what they do before you commit to an entire cut. Touch the beanie and roll up. So we're gonna place our hand on top of the beanie so it doesn't move, touch the edge with the clippers and stay in contact with the beanie the whole time. So you're gonna come up, roll it off, come up, roll it off. Since we started with our largest guard, that guard may have left the hair a little too long. So what I've done here is I've grabbed the next size down and gone over the hair again so I can get the right length. Remember, you can't put the hair back on. You can always take more off. All right, first side is done. Let's take a look. Looks pretty good. As you can see, we've got a nice little fade here with a soft weight line on the side of the head, which is exactly what we want. So now we're gonna move over to the other side. All right, let's take a look. Looks pretty good, no big chunks, no huge lines of demarcation. And I wanted to point out really quick in the back, you should be left with a little bit of a V shape. This is from the beanie slanting one side to the other and it's exactly the shape we want. I'll show you how to blend this in a little bit. For the second step of this haircut, we're gonna put the beanie back on and trim our edges. So we're gonna push the beanie all the way down, touching the ear on both sides, and we wanna create a triangle here, just showing the hair below the ear, and below the ears on the back of the neck. This is the area we're gonna be touching up and really makes this a fade rather than just a normal one length trim. So we're gonna take our clippers and use the exact same technique we used earlier. Remember I said it doesn't really require any skills, you just gotta do this one thing. And what that does is it gives us a really soft faded look by creating a difference in length from the hairline to the top of the head. So we're just gonna go through the edges here. At the hairline, hair can grow in different directions. So you wanna cut the hair in the direction it's growing. And as you get up closer to the perimeter, you're gonna be following the exact same guideline. Now, if the shoulder is in the way of getting the neck, just go ahead and turn their head to the direction you wanna work on so that your clippers have space to get in there, just like I did there.
Let's go ahead and take a look. So you can see here in the image before, the hair was all one length on the sides. Now we've added that little bit of taper, which really prolongs the life of the haircut and elevates the look a bit. For the third step, we're gonna grab our thinning shears and our comb and use a classic haircutting technique called scissor over comb. Now you really don't wanna use regular shears for this. Make sure you're using thinning shears. They're going to really minimize the amount of mistakes you can make here. And this technique is really just for blending the sides. So we're gonna take our comb, put it right underneath where our clippers left off and lift up any of that long hair. And we're just gonna just trim the ends really gently as we move the comb straight up to the ceiling. Straight up to the ceiling again and again. And you'll just take a look at your work after every section that you cut and see if you need to blend a little more. So we'll comb down. You can see a little bit of a heavy line there when we comb down. So we'll just trim a little more, comb down. And repeat this process until that line disappears to your liking. I like to leave it a little heavier. Uh, it's a lot less work and I think it's just a cool look. So you made it through step three. You've removed the bulk of the hair in step one from the sides, you've faded your hairline, and now you've blended that temple weight line. You could stop here, but for those of you who are wondering how to cut the front, I'll cover that really quickly. For the front hairline, we're gonna pull the hair straight back, meet up with the rest of the hairline, and angle our fingers directly perpendicular to the floor and ceiling and trim off the edges. All right, time to style. Today we're gonna to use the easiest styling product possible, hairspray. Today we're using 25 by Kenra Professional, and it's one of my favorite stronghold hairsprays for this type of stuff. Perfect if you just need to shape the hair and hold it in place. So there we have it. A really nice blended fade, no off-camera touch-ups or anything like that. This is exactly what you guys saw. Um, just cutting with the beanie, the clippers, and blending on the sides. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know if you try it and if it works for you.